Okay, today is July the 28th, 2014. Um, this is the first day, full day of walking in the state of Nevada, and I uh, can't complain. It's uh, so far been pretty beautiful. Uh, you know, loneliest road, not so much today. There's been a bit of traffic, um, and there's really not too much of a shoulder to walk on, so um, there's a couple, couple close calls, but um, really beautiful nonetheless, and uh, didn't really do much today. Um, last night, um, we actually met uh, a number of folks. Um, one guy by the name of uh, Russell. We met a gentleman by the name of Nick and uh, Simon. And Simon. Um, they are biking actually across the country. And uh, Simon and Russell are originally from England and they live in San Francisco. Um, and so we uh, I had a beer with them yesterday. Uh, we ate dinner with them at the Border Inn. And uh, we actually saw them again today on the road. They were uh, they walked with us for a little bit and then they passed us right by. Uh, they'll be in Ely tonight, but uh, just wonderful meeting them. And Nick actually met up with Simon and um, Russell uh, on the road. And it turns out that Russell lives five blocks away from Nick in San Francisco. And uh, Nick is actually biking west to east. And uh, he started uh, not too, too long ago. But he is awesome. He actually gave us um, one of these adventure cycling maps, or two of them, um, and it shows the terrain for Nevada and California. So where we're going to be walking, um, we have a map of terrain just to show us, you know, how difficult some of these passes are going to be, you know, what to expect. Um, so Nick, thank you so much. Like I was actually thinking about getting myself one of those, uh, just because of how helpful they really are, um, even though we're not biking. Um, but safe travels to you all. And uh, I told Russell that uh, when I get out to San Francisco, I'm going to let him know. Um, hopefully he's, he'll be around and maybe can walk the final day with me. Um, but, yeah, we, uh... Cars, man. Um, today we went up a pass uh, known as Sacramento Pass. was not too bad of a climb. Um, the arm is feeling a tad bit better, but, you know, I'm... Not gonna, I'm not gonna like use it at all until I know it's completely healed. Um, but yeah, so we went up this pass, Sacramento Pass, just came to the bottom of it, and we are now working our way up to the next set of uh, mountains and going through an area known as Connors Pass. And uh, we're not gonna be going over Connors today, we're gonna stop a little bit before it, um, but we're gonna be making it into Ely tomorrow. So, another place that probably gonna take an extra day just to re uh, recover. And um, other than that, I think it's been the highlights of the day. Um, oh, yeah, I met a really cool guy this morning. Um, I forget what his name was, but he oh, he works at a gold mine um, in the area, and he showed us this vial of gold uh, that was like, he said it was like a day's work. Weighed a good amount. He said it was worth like a couple thousand dollars. So it was uh, it's pretty amazing, just like a little vial of gold just how much it's worth and just you know what people go through to get it but uh thank you sir for showing that to us that was actually uh, it was very cool i've never seen uh like raw gold up close like that so very cool um all right well that's the update for today let me show you just so you know where we're at ah, as you can see there's this there's this beautiful like mountain right in front of us here and there's jake <laughs> he's listening to music and again, there's another range just right in front of us, waiting to be passed. And let's see what's over here. Some windmills and stuff, actually. But, all right, here comes a truck, so, or a motorcycle. All right, well, that does it for today. Uh, update you tomorrow on the way to Ely, or in Ely.